Here's your Forbes Daily Briefing for Saturday, January 20th. Today on Forbes, how to keep electric vehicles charged in extreme cold. The Arctic blast of frigid air, putting much of the nation in a deep freeze this week, is reportedly icing out some battery electric cars from charging or holding a charge, leaving a number of EV owners fuming and frustrated. In Chicago, where temperatures dropped below zero, Tesla drivers reported long lines at supercharger stations, complaining they were either slow or not working at all. Tesla owner Brandon Wellborn told Chicago TV station CBS Chicago, quote, I've been here for over five hours at this point, and I've still not started my charge. Charging that should take 45 minutes has taken two hours. The experience for Tesla owners is a window into the cold, hard truth about the susceptibility of battery electric vehicles to the effects of very cold weather. The simple answer to why this happens is chemistry and physics, according to a report by Recurrent, which studies electric vehicles. The report said, quote, chemical and physical reactions in the battery occur more slowly in cold temperatures. Cold temperatures inhibit chemical reactions and act as resistance that slows down the physical processes. This reduces the EV's available power. The recurrent report noted that EVs can lose up to around 30% of their available power in cold weather, not only due to effects of the temperature on battery chemistry, but from greater power demand when occupants turn up the heat. That point was supported in a consumer report story explaining the effects of cold weather on EV batteries, which said, quote, running the cabin heater, seat heaters, defroster, and other accessories that combat the cold weather inside the car all sap range. For cold temperatures, what we have found is that 20 degrees Fahrenheit and colder is when the range really drops. All EVs aren't alike when it comes to how much power they lose in cold weather. Recurrent measured the range loss for a number of EVs and found extremes such as the range for the Kia Kona EV drops 34% in freezing weather, while the loss for the Tesla Model S was 28%. A report on the vehicle shopping and research site cars.com noted, quote, an EV with a rated range of 250 miles would have only 150 miles of range when it's 20 degrees outside. To combat the cold weather effect, EV owners are advised to conduct what's known as preconditioning their vehicle's battery. This means heating or cooling the battery dependent on the temperature. This is generally accomplished by programming the vehicle's preconditioning system using a smartphone app that will start the car at a set time before the anticipated departure to heat or cool the battery in advance. It's best to precondition when the vehicle is still plugged into the grid to save battery power. There appears to be little respite for those Tesla drivers in Chicago who were stuck waiting for a charge in the frigid weather and other EV drivers steaming over power loss and slow charges. This weekend, much of the central and eastern part of the country, including the southern US as of yesterday, is experiencing a continuing Arctic blast. The National Weather Service had posted on its website Thursday, quote, while not as cold as the previous Arctic outbreak that produced numerous records across the Plains and lower Mississippi Valley last week, this next surge will result in high temperatures 20 to 25 degrees below average on Friday across much of the Plains and Mississippi Valley. These 20 to 25 degree below average temperatures will persist across most of the Plains and Mississippi again on Saturday while also spreading east into the Tennessee and Ohio valleys. For full coverage, check out Ed Garston's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.